Scoop on the Road recruiting coverage is brought to you by our friends at Steamboat Dry Goods. Get all of your outdoor and travel needs at SteamboatDryGoods.com. Use code ROADTRIP to get 20% off an order of $25 or more now. Link in the description box. BuckeyeScoop.com. We're here with Marvin Jones Jr., defensive end out of American Heritage. One of the top pass rushers in the country. Getting some work in here. Uh, pretty uh, competitive practice here uh, this evening. Uh, how's spring football going for you, Marvin? Going great, going great. You know, what are you working on right now? What's kind of your focus at this point? You know, you guys get this time in the spring, which is, you know, phenomenal for your development. What are some areas you're kind of trying to improve uh, as you head into your senior season? I would say before spring football started, I was doing a lot of a lot of hand stuff, so hand placement, things like that. So uh, during, during the season, I wanted to focus on power because I know the power opens up my hands. So right now I'm focusing on my power camp. Now, for those who may not know, uh, your father was uh, really a, an all-time great at Florida State linebacker. You're going to probably have a hand in the dirt at the next level. Uh, what's he meant, I guess, for your development or your, you know, your love for the game and kind of, you know, what what's that been like, I guess, uh, having him to kind of maybe bounce things off of? Yeah, he, uh, he he he's not he doesn't want to get too involved. He he wants to definitely let me, you know, take it on, uh, let me handle myself because that's, that's, that's how he did it. So. You know, he tells me what the what the how to answer people, how to talk to people, just not say too much sometimes. Like that. But he, he's not not too much involved in the you know the decision making processes yeah, and says, things like that. Wherever I go, yeah. he'll watch me. I guess. Sure. Um, now Florida State though is very much involved. Uh, you've got an official visit set there for the fall, I believe you, you said. Um, what has that program, I guess, meant to you over the years, and, and kind of what are, what do you see in them right now that that you like and that has them in that mix for you? Well, obviously, it was a school. You know, I, my family is growing up around. Uh, I've always been around them. Been a lot of games. Been there a lot of time. So obviously, it's a childhood thing. Um, they put a couple guys in the NFL, obviously. So it's cool to see that you know a dream come true, I guess, that I'm talking and stuff. Sure. Uh, another school, you said Alabama, uh, is going to get an official visit. Yeah. Obviously, they've got a nice tradition here. I just um, uh, sent Pat Sertan too off to the NFL. Um, you know, what do you what do you like about them? And obviously, uh, the program's had a lot of success with defensive linemen. Obviously, extremely successful, uh, successful organization program. Uh, they put guys in the NFL. They win championships. I mean, how much more you could ask for? Uh, Ohio State's another program that's recruiting you very hard right now. You have an official visit set for the Oregon game uh, September 11th. Um, so that's going to be kind of interesting. I guess probably one of the big early season games in college football this year. What are you looking forward to there? Because I don't believe you've been to Ohio State before. So what, you know, what's important, I guess, about that visit? You know, obviously, all you know, the, the Oregon Ohio State games are always fun, always exciting. So it'll definitely add to so it. First time I've been there, so I'm excited to see it for sure. Um, what are your conversations like with Coach Larry Johnson? Obviously, he's uh, probably your, one of your main points of contact at Ohio State. Um, you know, what, what's what's he like? What's talking to him like? And just kind of your your general thoughts on what you've you've seen and heard from him so far. Uh, I would say he's an extremely you know humble guy. You know, for based on how his career has gone so far, uh, he's definitely a very smart smart coach. Uh, we haven't talked so much football yet, but I'm sure that'll that'll start on uh, soon. So. I'm sure we'll, we'll get in. He, he told me uh, we'll have a Zoom, talk some film soon, so I'm sure we'll get into it soon, so it doesn't really bother me now. What, so are, what are some of the important things to you as you try and separate one school from another? You know, you're talk, we're talking about some of the best programs in the country right now. How do you separate one from the other? What are some things that you look at and are important? I would say a uh, big thing I look at is development. Uh, how many guys have gone in the NFL, how many guys have been successful in the NFL. Uh, that's probably my main thing, honestly. And have you noticed, I guess, you know, you got Alabama and Ohio State in there. I mean, how how much have you watched any of those players? Are there some players from those programs you've watched over the years that have maybe caught your attention and that's maybe helped you with some interest there? Or, you know, who are, I guess, who are some guys you, you like to watch? Uh, obviously, uh, Chase Young, Joy Bosa, my favorite player. Uh, obviously, Nick Bosa, uh, Carl Nassau. You know, a lot of good guys from out of Ohio State. And, you know, the Bosa's are from down this way. What, what, uh, why is Joey your favorite player? I just think, you know, we have similar body types. Uh, I think if you sort of watch me, I, a lot of the jabs and the hand swipes, I think I, I get it from him. So. Yeah. Uh, does that, you know, I guess, does that influence you at all? Like him at Ohio State or, you know, some of the other guys, some of the other schools? Do you, do you look at that in terms of, 
you know, following in their footsteps or some guys, you know, maybe want to go make their own name somewhere else. I mean, how do you look at anything like that? Obviously, when I watch him, uh, I want to emulate a lot of stuff he does. So you got a question where he gets that stuff from. So if that leads me to a certain school, then it is what it is. But. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep, bit of an old school feel to your recruitment with the five late officials. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of guys are getting this done as quickly as possible. You're you're taking the more traditional route. Um, when would you like to wrap things up? Is this going to be like a December, like a, a December signing period type of situation? Or I mean, if, I, if I fall in love with the school during the season, then uh, then uh, so be it. But I think most likely it'll be December, January. Then. All right. Well, we appreciate your time, Marvin. No Thanks for doing this. Uh, no good luck your rest of the spring. We'll be out to see you in the fall. All right, for sure. Thank you.